so now in today's ppt video class we let us see the continuation of the previous class okay students so um, next we are going to see how magnetism the theory that you have learned in electricity magnetism that's a faraday's law how this is used in blood flow meter okay we all know that what is faraday's law nothing but when an electrical conductor is moved perpendicular to a magnetic field a voltage is induced in the conductor which is proportional to the product of the magnetic field and the velocity of the conductor this law what you have applied in electromagnetism is you can apply it for conducting fluid moving perpendicular to a magnetic field which is the basis for magnetic flow meter so here blood acts as a conducting fluid that moves with the velocity v through a magnetic field capital b so a induced voltage v is applied between electrodes such that the induced voltage v will produce a small voltage that is equal to b d v where d is the diameter of the blood vessel you can see the diagram the principle used here is faraday's law that all we have learned from electricity and magnetism and that is used for calculating the blood flow rate in a human body that d is the diameter of the blood vessel since we know capital v and the magnetic field and the diameter of the vessel the mean velocity can be obtained from the following formula so the volume flow rate through the vessel can be calculated using nothing but its a area okay so q is equal to pi d squared v divided by 4 bd so using this formula you can calculate the blood flow rate in a human body next we are going to see the galvanic skin response where you can calculate your body resistance okay many body functions such as regulating the heart rate and maintaining a constant temperature and many body processes such as respiration and perspiration that is a sweating are controlled by the autonomic nervous system you cannot control over it therefore while this control is involuntary external stimuli or emotional activity can influence these functions and processes for example when you are subjected to elevated physiological activity can cause a person to perspire similarly changes in perspiration that is sweat gland activity are related to skin resistance that's nothing but the variation from the basal or normal skin resistance due to psychological changes due, due to external stimuli is called as galvanic skin response so you can see the diagram how we can measure the galvanic skin resistance that is your from your fingers okay so we have gsr can be easily measured where there is a concentration of sweat glands such as the palm of the hand and sole of the foot the resistance between the two electrodes attached to the two different fingers is measured in other an active electrode is placed on the palm of the hand and the second electrode neutral electrode is placed on the wrist of the or the back of the hand usually the constant tiny dc current of the order of 10 micro amps per centimeter squared is passed through the electrodes which causes a resulting voltage indicates the gsr since voltage is proportional to resistance you can calculate what is gsr okay so by applying over ohms law you can calculate the galvanic skin response okay this galvanic skin response measurements is based on the sweat gland activity when the sweating is more the resistance will be less hence these are the two methods we have seen which can be used for measuring your body resistance which finds immense application in lie detector okay so hope you people have understood so in a in your practical class in ordinary cro you can just have this measurements and if you are interested you can buy two electrodes so that you can measure the resistance and you can see how it varies with different sweating activities from one person to another person thank you